Yay! Okay, we're going to show how to fit a dog harness with a harness that doesn't fit. So you start with holding the harness upside down. You got the head and the body hold. Just put that over and flip it over. And put the dog's feet through here. And when you have it so it fits, that works a whole lot better. Then this needs to sit right here, just in front of the withers. You can feel. I don't think you can see, but you can feel the withers right here, and that sits right above, right in front of, as in just up the neck from the withers. Right there centered. Yes, you're a good girl. And then the front, I'm going to switch over just a little bit. The on the front of the dog, it fits just right there. So if you can feel, you can see where her chest bones and muscles are. And that fits right here, right above that. Good girl. Oh, you got your little airplane ears on. And then chest. Oh, good baby. Fits right down in between there. And this, of course, is way too wide for her. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Good baby. You're a good baby. Oh, mm-hmm. And then where this comes up, it comes back to this Y. And that fits right over the last rib. And then this continues back until the toe point. Yeah, we're going to show a picture of your tail. Is right there at the base of the tail. So it's right there above that. And then separate from the harness, her weight can be checked because you can feel the bones right there. But you can't feel her backbone. Because she's at a good weight. Because you're a good girl. You, you, Good girl. All right, and now this harness is so big, she can just walk right on out of it. Yeah, just walk right on out of it going forward. Any dog can walk out of their harness going backwards, but she can walk out of the harness going forward. You're good.